What's up, Devils? Jade all back for another goddamn fucking interview. And we got fucking Big D back again, so I'm sure you're burning out on his ass. So I figured to spruce the video, video up. We got uh, Scott and I in the goddamn house to uh, they, so him and Big D can battle it out about the goddamn metal scene. So first things goddamn first, Scott. Got asked to ask Big D, and people didn't like Big D's fucking answer. They said, that's a thrash record, goddammit. I said, what's the greatest death metal record of all fucking time? In your opinion, opinion, in your opinion. All this is madness. Oh, no, it is. Come on, you don't think so. It really is. Oh, he's wrong. Yeah, he's definitely <laughs> wrong, but whatever. No, what, did you, somebody perfection. commented, uh, uh, morbid, uh, uh, morbid Visions is a thrash record or something, and I'm like, no, I don't know. I mean, yeah. It's death metal. It's false. Yeah. It's death yeah. metal. It's false. I don't know what that guy's talking yeah. about. Again, these people, these dumb nuts. I just like that. I like that Alder's Alder's Tales is like perfected. It's like they were fighting fucking Slayer. They were going after Slayer Rain and Blood. Did you think like Abominations was better? No. Wow. I mean, I liked it. Like I liked it when it was out. I liked it when it was out. But when I heard fucking when I heard Alder's, I was like, fuck. Abominations. This is the fucking shit. Really? So you, you even the redo songs and just uh, uh, redo it. <laughs> What's it? See, got a total hypocrite here. What do you mean the the redo songs? What's go? What is hell's only fun? Hell's only fun. Those are redo songs from the demos. Everybody's got demo songs that they redo on a fucking album. Hey, no. Morbid Angel clarified it. They said technically this isn't our official album. It was our first album. It's kind of like a demo. They kind of they're wrong. I, I mean, they're really wrong. The, the, yeah, the, the old like, man's wrong. I mean, it was it was, it was Bill Mattroy did say that. Now it's like it's good. It's like if they if it came out when it should have came out, eh, eh. but it's like still it'd be like that's eh, a good record. But Alzers, man, it's fucking Alzers, wow. dude. Here's the thing, is though, Big D though, he's got a hell of a bias. Go around there, buddy. Yeah, yeah thanks. thanks. Right to the appreciate camera. It. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Um, uh, yeah, but me, me and uh, <laughs> unbelievable. Um, anyways, uh, me and me and uh, Murrow had this goddamn conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Big D, he's kind of biased. He's like, "Here's the thing with Dom, man. He doesn't like Alters of Madness, but I tell you what, if it came out of Pittsburgh, he'd be like, this is the greatest thing ever.' He's like, I put it this way, up. it's very okay. <laughs> very okay. It's a very okay record, <laughs> just like the rest very of their catalog. Okay. It's very, it's okay, except for Kill a Cop. That fucking. Shit well, no, no, well, nobody likes that. I don't even think Scott and I like that. Well, J- J- Jamie Athner, likes it. Athner, every album. Every Metallica, too, dude. Dude, he likes Judas Priest, fucking uh, 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 Nostradamus. Go no, on, no, no. we gotta go on. Not okay. him. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Told you they do. Nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, no, fuck. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah, he likes that too. What? He's got it. He owns every Metallica album, even the Load album. You know what? On the way up to the fest, Mike bought the fucking goddamn Metallica the new I mean, one. The new one. Who, why would he do it? We listened to it today on the fest up here. We're like, oh, that's my flashlight. Oh, here you go, man. In, we're like, I'm, this is the I gayest shit it. I've ever I'm heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like the gayest shit. Oh, oh, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Absolutely. Man, yeah. people, people fucking our interview up left and right. But oh, I guess, yeah, hey, yeah, whatever. Yeah. We don't edit it out. We just keep it there. Yeah. But, um, whatever. it's all good. No, but uh, didn't the new Metallica did just like, come out like literally a day or two ago? Friday. Yes, sir. So that means he literally went to the store and picked it up yesterday. He did. He, he was that excited. He, he got no, it the day of. He wasn't of. excited. He just like, I, I just want to buy it. Day of is excited to me, bro. Is he liked all the other ones? No. He, he doesn't just, like any of it. <laughs> <laughs> but he wants to buy it. Man, that's dedication. Yeah. You're, you're, you're plugging your 20 bucks down and you're like, I know I'm going to hate it. He's just like, it he's like, Metallica just needs more of my money. And <laughs> yeah. that's it. They do seem to be scrimping by. They're worth only a billion dollars. And yeah, there's a song at the end of the song, like one song. It's like some sort of gay as fuck song. And the guy says like, you know, like feels like, it's cyanide. Or like, oh my, again? They already had a song called Cyanide on some like Death Magnetic, but he said it on a new song. Yeah. Like, Desecrate your band name. Like, oh God, this is gay we as to, fuck, we need, to, we, need change, we need to change our band name now. <laughs> right? Well, it's with an I, so, I mean, it's with a Y. Oh, it's Y, a y, y yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, so you can see your cover, yeah. yeah. Well, wait, what's, uh, what's the last Metallica record you like? Master Puppets. Okay. What about you, D? Wow. I, I go. Uh, I, I'd like. I like some of the songs on. If that was like a. If that was at, like a seven inch, like if they did like Damage Incorporated and Battery as a seven inch, one of the best fucking seven inches ever. Right. But it, you got to sit through Sanitarium and Orion. Like sanitarium. Dude, no, <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's not. That's not good. That's I like. I like the aggression. I like the aggression of Battery and Damage Incorporated. And even I'll give you like. Parts of Leper Messiah, but the rest oh, of no, the yeah, record. Oh, no, yeah, Leper Messiah. Heroes, nothing. 
It's just too long and boring. Just, yeah, I mean, come on, cut it the fuck down, dude. Seven minute song, five minute. Come on, dude. I was okay with that. Uh, I was okay. I, <laughs> okay. But I mean, some of those, uh, uh, th- uh, those two songs are really very good, and then the rest of the stuff, I'm not a fan. But Ride the Lightning, eh, it's pretty good. So I go, I go with. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's like a ten. <laughs> it doesn't sound. The whole sound of the record is. Oh, I haven't heard the remaster. I heard the remasters is fantastic. Well, who cares about the remasters? It's just it's the just, Mega Force version. I mean, I, you know, I, I had a cassette of it. I jammed it. Yeah, you fuckers. Well, first way, Scott. Uh, what's your opinion on Persecution Mania? Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Ask Big D what he thinks of Persecution Mania. What do you think? Thresh. You know, it's gotten better over the years. <laughs> but it was fucking terrible in 87, dude. I liked it. Fucking, it. Are you dude, Enchanted it? Land? What kind of fucking gay shit? I liked shit? Enchanted dude, Land. That is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> it's heavy metal. It's like it's talking about high, the Highlander? Yeah. I, I love the movie, but you don't put it... I like. I mean, I like Goodfellas, but I'm not... I'm not big D even in the... Big, understood, understood. Big D, so a Paul, is he even in the shot? Understood. Camera is he in the shot? Yeah, okay, cool. But he's, he's just jumping out. He's like almost fell off his boat when he said Persecution Mania was fucking a uh, good album. What other, what other, what other? It's, it's grown on me. I actually, because I, I was having the same Ray conversation Lewis, with, with uh, Jamie, and he was like, he was like, you should listen to it again. I did spin it. It's not as awful as I remember. <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'll, I'll give him that. But then, I mean, come on, the rest of their stuff. I just, I, mean, I like, I like, I understand I like, coming off of obsessed, I like Satan shit. I don't that. like. Like, I understand it's like it became super professional and super thrash. Yeah. You know, like, really, like, everyone was trying to be Metallica. I get that. But it's like, it was good. Well, and, and, and they throw a fucking Motorhead cover on there? Come on, dude. I mean, I, yeah, Motorhead is awesome, but... <clears throat> but <laughs> why put it on there? Like, there's no reason for that shit. I mean, <laughs> no, no, I agree wrong. on that, but it's a good cover. I mean... That's all. It's, it, yeah, but... But, yeah, I agree that it's, like, it's, 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 it's unnecessary. Yeah. For sure. For sure. 100%. Well, what are some uh, records that you absolutely consider uh, like essential that people... Dude, can you believe these fucking guys? Yeah, we're <coughs> right yeah you know, crack is good. <laughs> what do you consider like uh, kind of a, a, a essential that or that you that you really like that others may... Like, for example, like what, what do you like the most by Sana? Like, do you, do you like Persecution Man more? Or do you like Obsessed by Cruelty more? Obsessed by Cruelty and so Inside. Like inside. I mean, okay. Obviously, they destroy... Persecution. It destroys it. But Thank it like, you. Yes. It's like I understand that. It's like, but it's like I also like where, where they were going. It's like okay, they're trying to be a good band or trying to be professional. Okay, I mean, you like Birds of Word, the, the whole fucking. That's like, gay. Kind of, I'm, yeah. No, that's gay. It's, it's terrible. Like what terrible. the fuck? Agree. Yeah. Agree. Here we go Agreed. again, boys. Here we go, guys. Yep, got them in there. You just gotta do it. <laughs> Yeah. See people talk and see a camera, just walk right on through. You think they have this? I mean, we did pick a walkway. I mean, I mean, yeah, put it this way. Steve Steve I mean, was fucking right recording, there. and people walk in front of the camera. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, right? But anyway, yeah. I, that, but so, how far do you go with Sonic? All of them? Pretty much all the way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, after I mean, if, if you've given honestly, if you've given yourself over to Persecution Mania, the rest of their catalog is all it fall it all pretty much falls in line. Like I, th- I mean, it's you I know thought, well, aggressive so, that kind of like I thought like the Saul's of Law was kind of weak because they did like a Thin Lizzy cover and a Tank it. cover on that album. <laughs> it's like two covers on a record. It's like eh, that was kind of weak. But after that, they yeah. kind of like got weird. But then when they put out that Get What You Deserve, it's kind of like punk record. It's like. It's so fucking brutal and fucking oh, I awesome. I know that one, yeah. Dude, it's so fucking good. It's like two minute songs, like fucking. And they, had, and they had Atomic Stife from fucking Violent Force on drums. Wow. Fuck yeah, man. It was really brutal. So, what is. I never asked D this question either, too, because he doesn't like anything after 1989, but I'll ask him anyways. Like what, is your, what is your favorite thing metal wise from the 90s? Because I know obviously you guys are most, most, mostly 80s. You're mostly 80s, but you like other stuff. And then D, anything after 89 blows. So I'll go with you first. It's, uh, uh, that, that's a hard one. <laughs> hard as in everything sucks. Or hard as. But well, also, you know, I I'm a Swedish guy. Left end oh. path. That's eighty nine, brah. That's a nineties guy, damn. Well, all right, whatever. I like clandestine. Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, I, I asked. Yeah. So that's the best name. And you know, here's a hot take. I like Wolverine Blues. Oh, you can't I like that. that. You can't. That's I got. Can't. It's got. It's got one good track. What? And that's uh, out of hand. The last song on the album. Oh, great I, song. I, I don't. I just great song. I don't know. I got through the record. I can't. That's not. Wait, it. Okay. I, mean, I understand so, why you wouldn't like it, but it's like. So, so you mean to tell me? And you're. Because I, I thought. I thought you, is, is there any sort? Is there any I, subject matter that a good metal band can do that makes them suck? 
Yeah, I guess. It's like and I would think Wolverine would be one. It's got to be up there. <laughs> it's gotta I mean, be. <laughs> come on. What, what are you going to, or what is, uh, you're going to, uh, uh, Cyanide's going to pull out the next song, Superman? <laughs> come on. That's, All right. that's you, fucking stupid. It's Spidey, Spidey swinging yeah, Spidey. and kicking over an arm? Yeah. You're getting me on this. All right. I mean, a point taken. <laughs> okay, well, uh. Because I ain't buying a Cyanide Spider-Man record. No, I'm no, not no, doing no. it. Well, it's not my band. It's like, well, so, so, tune. But, so your pick is, in your opinion, Clandestine and Tune is the best 90s album that came out in the 90s. That's the best album? No. Do you yeah. like that better than like an ever-flowing stream? No. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah, that, yeah. That well, these, it, well, the 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 like, what we were talking like you get somebody on the spot, they're like, best record ever. Well, today I can answer of, it. You think of well, what Cannibal Corpse or yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell's Bells. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? George Fisher. Two, two of the mutilated. Oh, I thought it was one of the George Fisher ones. Those are bangers, I'm, too. I'm pretty sure you said the one no, record. I said, See this no, I said, <laughs> I'm 100% sure I said the first album I heard was oh, the first George Fisher yeah, album. That's what, yeah. But I said the best album is Tim the Mutilated. That's, uh, that's, no, that's not an opinion. You look it up in the encyclopedia. <laughs> greatest album of the death metal in the 90s is Cannibal Corpse to the Mutilated. Oh, it's even in Ace Ventura. I Everyone knows my, it. I got to get myself a, a dictionary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. There's a, there's a Swedish uh, death metal book out there that tells all the Swedish history, and the one that talks about just regular death metal, it's in there. Huh. So now, now to Big D. Huh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see, yeah, yeah. that was unfamiliar. Yeah. Known facts, man, so let me know. Scott, I just informed Scott, too. He, uh, he probably never even heard it. Oh, he's probably, <laughs> you heard Cannibal Corpse, two of the mutilated. Who? <laughs> exactly. He's hanging out with, dude, he's hanging out with Jay Athnar. Dude, he totally backpedals on this shit, too. This is like four years ago. Talking about Cannibal, never heard him. I mean, he didn't say never heard of him. Yeah, no, like, flat out never heard him. Never heard, yeah. And I'm like, like I've, I'm seen, like, I've I'm seen Cannibal like, Corpse like 10, 15 times in the, in the 90s. I was in the room. Yeah. But I'm I don't think I've seen him. I was like, eh. No, ask him I about, about uh, the keyboards and shit. They don't got keyboards. Cannibal, no keyboards. No, I'm saying ask. Uh, oh, yeah, how are keyboards a death model? Gay as fuck. <laughs> I can't have that. I can't, I can't have that shit. Oh, it's got to be rock and roll or nothing, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I like hey, keyboards are fine. I mean, I'm yeah, but it's like, Sabbath it's and fucking yes rainbow and rainbow. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Deep purple, great deal. You know, it's fucking great. Well, that is so you that this can be real tough. Two of the mutilated. Well, two of the mutilated. Right, exactly. Why? Because it's the greatest fucking death metal ever, right? Yeah. Yeah. Put keyboards in there. Not so great. Well, so. So what's Big D's favorite album from the 90s? It doesn't have to be Death Metal, just from the 90s. I don't know. Uh, I, I mean, uh, that was pretty good. I, mean, I, I, didn't, even, I didn't even and... think about uh, Ever Flowing Stream. I, I mean, that was No, but no, I'm saying for, even for you, you might even say like something like Black Sabbath, Dehumanizer or something. Like, even, I mean, I'm just oh, saying greatest boy. metal album of the 90s, like for you. That you enjoyed the most. That's all I pick, you know what I mean? Having difficulty because there's got to be that decade out. No, because I thought I mean, I, you like like the, you like like the Tony Martin albums by Sabbath. Shit, no, right? I don't like that. Oh, I thought you did like some of those. Okay, that's. I mean, I, I like I go maybe I like a little bit of Headless Cross, but uh, that's uh, 90s. Yeah. But is it the greatest? Oh well, no, I, I in my opinion, definitely not. No, definitely not. I mean, right. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not a big Tony Martin fan. Uh, yeah. Like 90s, like I love doom metal back then. It's like Solstice. Dark Age, like, blew my fucking head off, man. Like, New Dark Age, like, it's like, it's like Man of War and Candle Mass all in one. Like, it blew my fucking brains out, man. That kind of shit in the 90s. You know, it's like, that's the shit what, that I love. I got, an, I got a good question for you, too. Uh, what do you think about bands with no original members that still go? It's retarded. It's a cover band. It's, it's a cover it's like, band. Well, but, D, you're one of them away, though. What are you talking about? But it, I, there's at least one guy. No, I know. So, I know. I'm just saying. I mean, I, I wrote most of the fucking No, I know. I, I, I agree I'm with you. I'm the guy. But yeah. I'm saying the guy. I said that. I, I can, I'm just. Right, people right. in the comments can say, well, dude, he's one away from zero. So what the fuck? Some, some, some people have one man band. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, I know. But. but I mean, yeah, obviously I couldn't do it without anybody. But I mean, <laughs> when, when you're, when you, nobody. Like, like no, nobody, no, nobody in the fucking original lineup Maple is there. Death. It's, there's right, a lot right. of them. Maple. Like Dark Angel. They have none now? No, Jim Durkin died. He, he, yeah, there's nobody, no yeah. original members. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Opeth, I was told, nobody, no original. I didn't never listen to that. Dude, I don't know. Dude, Opeth, there's, there was a, there's a list on there's that. I looked, I'm like, no original. Wait, you're the Opeth? There's no way no. you're the Opeth. But I'll tell you what they do. No you, know that, you know that metal, what's up? <laughs> you know that. <laughs> 
You know that you know that what's in my bag Amiibo Records video shit? Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the Opeth guys. I don't know what the guys look like too. They might be the greatest man in the world, don't know, might be the coolest guy in the world. Who's that? But the guy they had in there, I don't know which guy, but he looked weird which band? as fuck. Which band? Opeth. The flower. Oh, man. the band. Okay. Yeah, the well, one guy that he's, he's like, he's like, I'm so and so from Opeth. Here's my, my here, here's my what's in my bag. Of course, there, electronic there, music there, probably. There, there was zero metal in the bag. But the guy himself, I'm like, I'm pretty sure this dude John Wayne fucking Gacy part two. Because goddamn, he looks weird as fuck. I'm just saying, it might be cool. I'm just I was a concerned citizen. Just saying, do a background check of that mofo. That's all. Take a look. Do what's in my bag? Oh, th- oh Beth, trust me. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Like, oh, yeah, dude, this guy. Oh, 100%. Skeletons under, skeletons under his crawl space. No doubt about it. You, you agree. I don't know. I don't know who that would. I, I don't yeah, really I know, know what they look like. I, don't, I didn't either until I saw that, and I was scared. Yeah. You know? I saw a flower on the cover and a child molester in the video. I'm like, this can't be good. <laughs> yeah. I was fucking, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. I'm just saying, it looked like one. Might be cool, might be bugs. I'm just saying, <laughs> maybe they're playing make sure metal threat. And I'll check be under his floorboards. I'm I just gotcha. saying, just just do a background check. Yeah. I just you don't know? like the name Opeth. It's like I was already out. I didn't like I didn't like the <laughs> flower. Opeth? Like, hey, I'm out. Yeah. Opeth. What is it? Oh, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what kind of music. But you're one, it's one letter after the N, the none. So I'm just saying, dude, you're like, you're like skate. Some of the shit, the, the laws you're putting down, you're like skating on thin ice to where you're crossing the That ice too. is thick enough. Uh, <laughs> you're saying, goddamn it. What kind of minutes we at, cameraman? 16 goddamn minutes. What the fuck you got thrown there? I'm, I'm doing all the thinking, all the talking. What do you, so, you throw on there? No, no keyboards. Uh, no, no original keyboards? members is bad. Who what? do you think of Death Strike? Who? Death oh, Strike. I like Death Strike. Yeah, yeah dude, absolutely. No, no, Death Strike's good, but dude, come on, man. Death Strike, Master, who's the other ten of the bands? Yeah, about they do like all the same songs. It's like, let's do a uh, fucking uh, Pay to Die again. Like, what, what, are you, what are you doing, man? Every band has the same songs? Oh, and Caleb Corpse doesn't all sound the same? No, ab- absolutely not, bra bra. <laughs> Whoa! No way, Jose. Hey. Oh, down, separate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell's bells, no. You're telling me Meat Hooks... You telling me Meat Hooks Sodomy sounds like Icon Blood? That sounds like Perverse Suffering? That, that sounds like know. Pounded Into Dust? <laughs> Fuck no, bro. Put it that, sounds the same to me. No, no. Put that, put yeah. that bloodthirst down mount back again. Your fucking head will be pounded in dust. It's the same to me. It's the same for No, because you're pulling a big D. You're being nope, stubborn. Nope, nope, setting nope, your nope, ways. Nope, nope, putting nope. it on. Thinking same fucking persecution shit. mania sucks. <laughs> no, dude. Say, saying cannibal sounds the same is literally dumber uh, than dude. saying than saying ultras of madness sucks. That is dumber than saying I that. I nobody said that. What do you mean nobody said that? I've been hearing it for the last 25 fucking years. Nobody said that. <laughs> I, said it's I heard really, it. I said it's a really okay record. You said that now, not the last 20, 26 years. Well, it's I'm really on camera okay. now. <laughs> That's me. <amazing>. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I am morbid. You got that? Well, there, nobody likes it. You got, you got Dave. What? No, and, Pete, and you got Pete the Feet on drums. Pete the Feet. That, that's Anywho. the gayest shit of all time, too. I am morbid. Like, I, I couldn't. I can't imagine putting throwing money at that. I, no, but, no, but it's, it's, it's terrible, 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 terrible. Tribute band shit, go die. All that shit. Oh, fucking. So what about uh, Big D again? Wrong as usual. What about the mighty? And I said mighty. Goddamn it, God to throne. Who? <laughs> Again, another out of the loop geezer. What do you mean, who? Dude, the go- man's terrible. <laughs> that man's fantastic. It's like, uh, it's like, no, it no. sounds like commercial no. bullshit. No, dude. no, absolutely not. Go put on songs like The Art of Immolation, the title track, Grand Grimoire, fantastic. Big D says he listened to it, but he didn't listen to it. I didn't listen to it. No, Dude, no as soon as you start didn't. doing this shit, but there was not out. There wasn't really on those tracks. That's what I'm Whatever awesome. started, and I got to the first track that had this shit, I'm out. I'm just again. It's for sure. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm I just, just don't saying. like that melodic riffing. You know, it's like it's. You don't like the melodic riffing, but you're picking up the new Metallica. Come on, dude. I didn't pick it up. Mike picked it up. <laughs> you listen to it. I listened to it, but I didn't like it. <laughs> but you did. But yeah. I made it. You listen through. to it, but you haven't heard God of Throne. To me, that's unacceptable. That's fine. Just just let you know, God damn it. I don't like it. I you know you don't like it. I've heard it. I've heard it. I know I wouldn't like it anyway. Dude, that's like I don't fun. like the album covers. I don't like that's the dude, way let's, He's pulling literally fucking Joe off for it like, on I the guy. Like, he's turning him down for the lead. He's like, have you heard me play? No, it's like, it, it play. sounds too like just professional and melodic. And you just said you haven't heard it. How do you know? Because I know. No, you don't. Yes, I do. What do you mean, yes, you do? It sounds like he's listened to it. What does it sound like? Blast and awesomeness. The blasting so fucking overrated and dumb. <laughs> but you like it. But you like all. Yeah, but all the madness. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but that's evil. So, so uh, it's, it's like yeah. It's, it is it's a little. Evil. Evil. No, dude. I, I mean, the best death metal demo of all time is obviously that game to come. Oh, you know, it's funny. It it's funny. Demo. It's funny you say that. I actually said, demo. I said like really recently, I was like, that's one of the greatest demos ever. Absolutely. 
Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Do you, do you like that Kingdom Come more than like the Necrovore demo? Yes. Okay. But surely you like that, right? Necrovore? Absolutely. Jesus yeah. But if it came out in 1991, you'd be like, eh, mm, kind of hanging out with Goddy Throne. not a fucking poser. Jesus <laughs> fuck. <laughs> they didn't sell the Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> They weren't that good. That's that's why they. That's not. Dude, you ever? Ben, hasn't heard them. If that's what he's saying, flat out haven't heard them. That's fine. But does he need to hear them? Cannibal, dude, dude, come on, man. I like cannibals fine. Now they're fine. First, he has, first hasn't heard them. Because first, then they suck. Dude, now, now they're fine. Old fucking. Two records. Oh, he actually owns a couple records. See? Oh. Yeah. Well, he actually owns three. Saying. What? I own three. What's three? I own Vile. I own fucking Butcher Back to Birth. Butcher own... Back to Birth. <laughs> Whatever it's fucking called. <laughs> can't remember the title. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This kind of a guy, he says he doesn't know the songs. He can't remember a simple title. But here's he's got three, he's uh, has three more than me. I, I know. The, this guy, he's... I, anything after 89, he's like, he's like, I don't even know. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because when I remember, I remember when I was early years of meeting you when Evil Never Dies by Toxic Holocaust came out. This is some of the greatest music as it was. It was a resurgence yeah, no, of no, because, like that. because that, yeah, that, it was not that, that 80 style. That, I know it, it, it died. No, no, tell, don't you don't pull that poser ass 15 year old kid shit on me. What, what? You minimally like some Toxic Holocaust, the first record or something, right? Fine. What do like, you mean, fine? No, I'm, I'm so like, sick of that I, answer. I love fucking, I actually like Toxic Holocaust, oh, 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 yeah, whatever it's called. Wait, what do you? That is what it's called. Got yeah, that one, right? <laughs> like, I, like it. yeah. like, I like all their shit. Like, okay. not all their shit. I didn't like that one weird one they just put out with the fucking, like... That was good, too. The goofy, like, Cup, 80s, like... The cover, the cover, like, yeah, the cover like, was... The cover like, was... Like, looked like an arcade or some cover shit. cover was a bit silly, but goddammit, but... But hey, dude. But it was... So, I mean, it's like, I understand. It's like, I think he's a true guy. He's like, he's doing yeah. what he wants to do. It's cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah, yeah what's up? 25 hours, oh, always start to yeah, cut out. People like, guys eyes and shit. It's like, oh, God, it's like a fuck yeah. No, that's what I thought. No, but see, so you get the 12 year olds that come on here too. They're like, ah, oh, who likes that? I'm like, dude, just get fucking no, lost, no get problem. fucked, and suck a fucking dick. That's great. Yeah. No problem with that. Yeah. Yeah. Just great. checking. Yeah. Just checking. All right, so we conclude out here. Goddy Throne's horrible, but he's never heard it. He just checked out the new Metallica. He, he, hummed, a, he hummed a lot of shit that sounded like could be on that record. <laughs> Just saying, I'm just, dude. I'm he, just saying. He done, dude, hasn't heard Goddy Throne, but was was eager to check out the Metallica day of release. <laughs> I didn't buy it. What? Like, Fuck you. Still, still listen to it. Still listen. That's he not. He made me listen to it in the car. Hey, you he can't. Much. He can't shut his ear holes. He's, he's uh, sit there. I would. I would have said. He's driving. He had to pick sure, up the CD. If I was in that car, I'd like shut this canoe shit off and put on Goddy Throne. How do you know? That's you haven't that. fucking listened to it yet. The that might be great. Metallica. Right. They haven't put anything good since like 1989. You know what? I'm just saying. That sounds like you're pulling God the throne. No, like, no, he no. Hasn't heard you, you, go ahead. How about dude, a couple of riffs? You know dude, what they are. No, no. When You're that, saying it's when, bad. When, you haven't listened to it I have said, yet. dude, when Load came out, that Load album, <laughs> that was officially they needed to be dragged out and beat up in the parking lot. Uh, I'm just saying, if you yeah, haven't heard it yet. Of course. But, I, I've heard the band. He hasn't even heard the band. Yeah, you haven't heard the new shit. I don't need to. It might be good. And it, it can't be good. And actually, I have. I did, Suicide Solution or whatever. That, that's an Aussie song. Suicide something. <laughs> It was, no, I, I reviewed it on my channel. I'm like, the riffing was actually kind of good. And then Headfield comes in, yeah, taking a dildo up the ass. I'm like, this is the biggest pink panty wearing sissy shit he I've ever heard. It sounded like it. Oh, Dude, yeah. he had, it was a music video. He, he needed pink clothes on. Because I was like, that, that fit. Pink clothes with those vocals. Yep. But the riffs, I was like, oh, this is actually, I was like, oh, wow, this is actually kind of catchy, kind of cool. Yeah. Not bad, not bad, not bad. He starts singing. I'm like, dude, this guy, this guy is. Gotta go. I mean, dude, when you cover Merciful, go. dude, I don't think uh, him out. dude, when you cover Merciful, Fate, Curse of the Pharaohs, when did King Diamond ever go? Ooh, that yeah. Was, that was, those were when the fuck did he ever do that? Covers. Painful, painful covers. Painful. That guy's horrible. Get rid of them. They're they popular. They're popular to quadruple. Cannot, get rid of that. They're fucking so bad. Yeah, they can't pull off, pull off um, Merciful Fate. Uh, yeah. Dude, I'm just saying. Just get, get rid of that tool. Diamond head, Dude, yeah. that, that guy, that guy's almost annoying now, looking as fucking David Vincent. He's a fucking millionaire. What are you gonna do? He's still annoying. Well, of course. <laughs> I hate rich people. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's it for this one. Devils, we're about 30 goddamn minutes. They're not going to be able to cut it off, so. And here, cut the camera, goddammit. Later. Later.